Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a hard hitting quick move team that's all shadow. So we have Shadow Maul Wow which unfortunately is not getting stabbed with Fire Fang. I'm sure you can go with another Pokemon that is going to be getting stabbed from that. That's Shadow and doing tons of damage but we're going to be going with of course the mascot Shadow Maul Wow here. And then in the back we do have Shadow Hypno with Confusion, Fire Punch and Shadow Ball. And then Shadow Victory Bell with Razor Leaf, Shadow Damage absolutely insane and acid as well as leaf blade so with that said let's see what we have folks if you use this team here you can find yourself in a bit of a jam sometimes for sure but it pulls wins like crazy it makes people quit and it also takes opponents down and they still have two shields because the the fast move pressure is so much a lot of times it's over before they realize it and it's coming down to the wire, the last Pokemon. And what I'm going to do is simply quick move them down. I don't even need to throw a charge move. So they end up losing with two shields. Not because they didn't plan it properly. It's just this team is so overwhelming when it comes to fast move damage. So let's see what we have here. Uh, if you do enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Really do appreciate that. All right, Victory Bell going for the Acid on the Lorantis there, and they're letting it go. We're taking the win there, looking good. All right, next battle, met with a Dragonite with our Mawile. Wow, this is great. This is going to be a quick one. They swap into Jellicent. I bring in the Victory Bell. They back out. We take the win. We move it on. <laughs> Let's go. Leading with Mawile wow the entire time. All right, met with a Golbat. I was seeing a lot of these Golbats up front. And I almost wanted to put my Hypno up there, but then I probably would have started to encounter normal types or probably even a steel type. All right, anyways, let's see what we have here. Gonna go for the power punch, getting a shield from them after building up to the Iron Head. You'll love to see that. Gonna let that go, calling the Poison Fang. Getting to another power punch here. I would assume they're gonna let this go, not use their other shield and call the power punch. Bringing them down pretty low, but that's okay. What we're gonna do is bringing victory bell and farm them down with you know we didn't want to see that matchup so what else do they have to counter this here a cresselia so i immediately swap into the hypno and they bring in a dunce sparse here so of course we can't go for shadow ball because that's not very effective so we're just going to go ahead and obviously go for the thunder punch here now when it comes down to the victory bell going up against that cresselia we will resist everything other than the cycle cut unless they do have future sight so ooh, we should be okay there and again it's all about that fast move pressure i almost wanted to let it take me out but then we would have had to deal with another charge move now they're going to get to one anyways and we're going to have to shield this up because it's going to do more damage than anything Cresselia is going to throw at us again unless they do have uh or uh, future sight so we're going to go ahead and go razor leaf here I was thinking, ooh, is that the right play? Oh my goodness, are we gonna be able to pull this one off here? Come on, Victory Bell, go for the Grass Knot. And we're razor leafing them down, and that's a wrap, and we take the win. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm probably gonna use this team again, so expect another video. Uh, we have a Whiskash Bad lead, that's fine. Obviously, we're not gonna be bringing in Victory Bell because they're gonna counter us with like a Golbat or something like that. So we swap into our Hypno, and they're staying here. Looks like they're gonna go for a Blizzard, unfortunately, for me. All right, big damage there, bringing in a Scrafty, and now we're in a kind of a bad position here, but not the worst. Mawile going up against Scrafty is actually not too good unless you do have Fairy Wind. Uh, otherwise, it's, you're getting countered down. Shadow Mawile just takes a lot of damage. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it in here. Fire Fang it is. We're gonna hold off because the reason why I didn't bring in Victory Bell is because we can absorb these hits on like Victory Bell, which is just gonna take the full damage um, if they go foul play as opposed to Mawile resisting it, immediately swapping into it. They got another water type in the back. It's gonna be a Dugong, but it is hitting us with super effective ice. So this is getting really freaking nuts here. All right, so we're going, we're going, we're taking them down. All right, so they still have two shields and we're gonna go acid spray just to lower their defense and do that much more damage. They let it go because it was a wrap. I thought they had more health. Uh, <laughs> and we're taking the win with two shields on their end. Next battle, great lead, Alolan Sand Slash. So they're going to be farming up a bit, swapping into the Jellicent, and then I make a systematic swap into the Victory Bell without even playing any damn games. Let's get it. All right, and we do not call the Shadow Ball. Now, at this point, I was extremely pissed. We had everything to our advantage, but we didn't call the damn Shadow Ball. Farming them down with the Hypno, bringing back the Sand Slash. Unfortunately, the Confusion is going to be resisted, so oh, I hope that there's something in the back that the Mawile can handle, or the Victory Bell at least. We're going to let this Ice Punch go, doing a decent amount. They're going to be able to Shadow Claws down and gain all that much energy. They got a 
freaking buzzwall back here, folks. Wait, is the victory bell down? Yeah, what, I don't know what the hell I was talking about. So it's all up to the mall while. All right, buddy. All right, my little friend, let's get it here. So they're going for lunch. It doesn't really matter if they lowered our attack. We already raised it, so it was back to neutral. We would have been able to take out that Sand Slash. And they're backing out. We take the win next battle. We're going to be met with a Quagsire. Horrible lead here. So we're going to swap into the Hypno and try to gain realignment with the Shadow Victory Bell here in a bit after bringing in the Hypno here. Now they're farming up quite a bit, so we're going to go ahead and shield this up, calling the Stone Edge here, and that's exactly what it was. Going for another charge move, I would assume it's going to be a Mud Bomb this time. And that's exactly what it is. And they're going and staying here. So I go for a Thunder Punch. Why? I don't know. I was trying to get a shield because they didn't swap. I thought they wanted to kind of, you know, keep this match going here because whatever's in the back doesn't want to see Hypno. We survive with 1 HP. Unbelievable. It couldn't get any better than this. You want 1 HP so they can't farm you. All right. So we're looking good. Unfortunately, we did use a shield though. So that sucks. All right, so we're gonna bring in Victory Bell. Now check this out, I try to catch a Rock Slide and it was a damn good catch, but unfortunately it's a stinking Cross Chop which is gonna do a decent amount of damage, literally half of our health. So if there's nothing in the back that the Victory Bell can handle, then this is a wrap obviously here. So they're immediately swapping. They've got a Primeape, oh my goodness, this is getting nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the Acid Spray to lower their defense so we can take them out that much faster. They shield it up, we take them out. And then we take out the Machamp with the Victory Bell. Are you kidding me? Do you see this crap? This team is nuts. Next battle, we're going to be met with a Diggersby. Not a good lead. Actually, this kind of counters our team for the most part. Victory Bell can handle it, but Hypno is really not doing much. But they're swapping with a ton of energy, probably like 100 energy on that Diggersby. And bringing in a Hypno, we go straight for Shadow Ball. And this is exactly what we needed them to do retreat so we can realign the Victory Bell with the Diggersby. And since I've seen that Dragonite, <laughs> It's, it's a complete wrap. We're gonna go in here with Mawile, and then as soon as they bring in their Diggersby, we'll swap into the Victory Bell. Now, we do need to look out a little bit because I do have a whole hell of a lot of energy on that Diggersby, and they could get us, but uh, we still do have two shields, so I don't even, <laughs> I do believe we let a Fire Punch go. So they hit me with a Power Up Punch, pretty much KOing us. We're gonna go for the Power Up Punch, or they hit us with a Super Power. Pretty much KO'd us. We took out the Dragonite, bringing in the Victory Bell. We already know. I thought they were going to go for a Fire Punch. They go straight Earthquake. Probably thought I was trying to call something, but nah, I'm not going to. I'm shielding it all up. I don't give a damn. And taking the win. And they have two shields because they didn't have a chance to use them really towards the end there. Next battle met with Toga tomorrow. This is a freaking great lead here. So we got to keep ourselves aligned. There's that Diggersby coming back for a little revenge. Now that was really quick. We're going to go ahead and let that Fire Punch go because, well, I really don't need to shield it up as you can see here. Getting to the Leaf Blade, I would assume they're going to just let this go here. So we've used no shields. We're pretty low on our health with the Victory Bell, and that's great. I mean, it's always going to be good, too, if you have more health. But then they would have just farmed you down even more with that. Exactly, right? So we bring in the Hypno, and we're looking absolutely amazing here. I love this freaking Shadow Team. Hard-hitting quick move damage. Unbelievably crazy here. Bringing in the Mawile. Going for the Power Up Punch, because at this point, all we really need to do is kind of just vamp up our attack, and then we'll be able to take out the next Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and call this Poison Fang. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Togu tomorrow. It's over, buddy. Two shields left on your end again. Do you see this, folks? That's the power of fast move damage. Let's freaking go. And we're taking that win. Yeah, you better believe it. Let's keep it moving here. Next battle, what are we going to see? A uh, Melmetal. That's good. That's a good lead. Sort of. Superpower is going to have to be shielded because it's going to do a shoo, crap load of damage. Okay, so we shield it up and they swap. Okay, so I do believe this is the team that's completely weak to fire. So they're swapping into a jump bluff, which we could have stayed there with the Mawile, but seeing that the two Pokemon that we have in the back are not necessarily going to want to go up against a pure steel type, we're going to go ahead and just kind of align ourselves like this here. Forgot what grass type is in the back, but we'll see soon enough. So we're going to let all this go here. We'll bring in the Mawile to finish them off. We will probably just let it go because we do only have one shield left, and there's nothing that this thing can really do to kind of one-shot us. Acrobatics is the worst that we have to worry about. All right, so they're swapping and locking the. Oh, it's a Tropius. There you go. All grass team. Let's go with the Mawile here. So we're going with the Power Up Punch so we can vamp this attack up with the Fire Fang. And they're letting it go, unfortunately, and holding on to that last shield. So we're going to be using our shield, going for the Iron Head here, landing it, taking them down. Let's go. Come on, Mawile. You got a little bit of health left, but we can still pull this off. Bring it in that Melmetal. And I swap into the Victory Bell to snipe them. <laughs> And they back out. They did not freaking like that. Let's go. Next battle. What are we going to see here, folks? 
a another Toga tomorrow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I love to see this swapping into a Pidgeot and I bring in the Hypno because it does have Fire Punch and obviously Victory Bell doesn't want to go up against a freaking bird. So we're going to go ahead and call this Feather Dance here. Since we are Shadow, unfortunately, we're not going to be getting Staff in this Thunder Punch, but it's still going to be doing a decent amount, as you can see here, as well as the Confusion Damage adding up. Now, we could call this or we can let it go. <laughs> Stating the obvious, they're getting a Brave Bird, as I figured they would do. Now, I want to keep my last Pokemon a secret, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Mawile. And they've got a Dub Wool. So this is not particularly great because um, Victory Bell's Razor Leaf is not very effective to Toku tomorrow. So since they let that Iron Head go, we can win. We can win now. This is a wrap. We got this. They hit me with a Body Slam. We farm them down. And they back out with two shields because they know it's over. I would have gone in there with Mawile and just mauled them down with Fire Fang. So this is going to be our second 5-0. I didn't show the other one, just that whatever. Uh, but this is how good it did. But check this out. As soon as I did get a 5-0, <laughs> two 5 O's, it started hitting me with hard counters. And we're not looking at any of those battles. I don't care. No, no, we're not. It was just straight hard counter after hard counter. There's nothing I can do. And it made me get a 0-5 <laughs> two times. Yeah, so I went 10-0, then I went 0-10. That that doesn't work like this. That doesn't work like this, okay? There's consistency within this team, and if it went freaking 10-0, then it shouldn't go 0-10 unless you severely screwed up, and which I didn't. I'll admit I did in a couple, but that's not solely a straight 10 losses because I screwed up two times, right? So this game is manipulated, it does have an algorithm, so there it is. I know I have to talk about it all the time because if I don't, it's gonna be left into obscurity while these other brain dead Cheeto finger licking losers in their basements of their parents' house or living with like 20 roommates, eh, there's nothing wrong with that, okay. Unless they run their mouth are gonna sit here and say there's no algorithm and people are gonna believe they're dumb asses, okay. Anyways, Pidgeot's having a bit of a rough time over here. What's going on, bird? What's going on, bird? Oh, we're beating you to the fire punch. I'm sorry, birdie. All right, down they go. <laughs> well, not quite. I snipe them there. Uh, they did not like that. They back out and we take the win and we keep it moving here, folks. Let's go. Let's go. Next battle, what are we going to see with Mr. 420 over here? Cowboy hat. Bad lead with the Quaggy. We're swapping into the Hypnome. They're going to be bringing in a Gliscor. Ah, uh, this is not good because they have Night Slash. So we're going to let the first one go. Freaking almost one shots me. We're going to get to the Thunder Punch here. See if we can start getting some shields out of them. And beautiful, we got that shield. Great, 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 great. Now we're gonna shield this up because I know they're gonna get to another one and I know they're gonna win this matchup and they get the attack boost. So they're absolutely gonna be shielding this up for sure now. And that's fine. Okay, no problem. Okay, you got me. So I bring in them all while and I'm like, there's no way they have earthquake. Nah, we're gonna let it go. This is not earthquake, right? Nah, night slash, good. That's what I thought, go. All right, bring it into Machamp. We immediately swap into the victory bell here. And this is, you know, gonna be a cross chop. So we're gonna let it go, no problem. Getting a little low on our Pokemon's health, but we know what's going on here. So we don't have to worry about it. Quagsire, that's a wrap. We're gonna get to the Leaf Blade and we take the win. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Fast move shadow damage is no joke. Thank you for watching and take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. You will see.